What's up y'all? Welcome back in the shop. I got something just a little bit different today. Not really shop build related, but uh, we're going on a little bit of an adventure. And uh, we have been on vacation all this last week. And uh, me and the wife got to talking and planning for little ways into our future. And uh, kind of on a whim, we purchased an Airstream travel trailer. So I'm headed from Jackson to Nashville to pick up this trailer and uh, it's gonna be a little bit of an adventure and I'm gonna take you along uh, I had to build me some trailer lights and uh, so that, that I can clamp on probably gonna use vice grips or C clamps I haven't decided or know which one will work best yet and uh, loaded up a bunch of tools because I don't know what we're gonna get into but uh, we're gonna have fun and hopefully safe travels getting this thing let's see what happens Well, before we get too far, I gotta grab some diesel. And uh, 308 a gallon. We'll see how much it costs to fill it up. I'm, uh, that's all I got left. My barrel that's in the back is empty. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little expensive, but this diesel will last me quite a ways. I won't have to get fill up again probably another month plus this trip so we're back here at the big boy pumps wait don't take too long when you have a nozzle that's about an inch and a quarter around well after some trouble of the pump rejecting my card I had to go inside give them my card so they could turn the pump on well look at that how quick this thing pumps out of there. I'm pretty sure it's full. Looks like I got 19 gallons in about 30 seconds. You see how big this pump is. <laughs> but that's the way to do it though. I gotta fill my barrel up there too. But uh, yeah, they had to hold my card and uh, all that. Kept rejecting it for some reason. And uh, this is what, I run this diesel treatment here. It helps the motor run a little quieter. It keeps the injectors clean. I don't know if it really does anything or not, but it seems to. I just put a little splash in every time I fill up. Same thing in the barrel. But, uh, well, that was a waste of money right there. Let's see how much money we can spend. Not that I like to, but what are you gonna do? See how quick we can fill this barrel up. Can't see it, but that's some high flow diesel right there. Look how quick those gallons pile up. Got it all full. That's not as bad as I thought. Now I gotta run inside and pay for this stuff. And uh, we'll be on the road again. And we're back on the road. Well, trip update. Hopefully my truck isn't too loud. Uh, I have the exhaust chopped halfway back to make room for my wheel lift. But uh, we're about 30 minutes in, and uh, if you can tell things are shaking a little bit. I believe, since it doesn't seem to be in the steering wheel at all, that one of my rear tires is starting to slip a belt. So hopefully that doesn't give us any trouble. I do have a spare though, just in case, but. I had one do it already and I put on another one and uh, I think the one on the other side is starting to kind of come apart just a little bit. So hopefully it doesn't give us any trouble on this trip and I better get a new one on there as soon as I can. But, but uh, I'll keep updates as I go along. Obviously I'm not going to record the whole time for two and a half hours, <laughs> but uh, it's going good so far and we 
got about another hundred miles or so. So we'll keep, I'll keep updates and uh, we'll see how this goes. Well, we're making pretty good time. Cruising along at 76 miles an hour. It's starting to get dark. Well, not quite dark, but dusk is appro approaching. And uh, we got about 55 minutes left until we're there. Then we gotta get everything hooked up, get our lights hooked up, make sure our safety chains are intact and all that good stuff. And uh, pull this thing back. But uh, we're doing pretty well, making pretty good time. And uh, I will update you next when I get there. Oh look, that's kind of cool, a rainbow. I don't really like the rain, but uh, yeah. There we are. Just stopped at Wendy's to grab some supper. I guess it's the walkthrough tonight since I can't fit this big thing under the little bar they put up. But uh, yeah, we're about 20 minutes in. Got about an hour and 40 minutes until we get home. I just checked the hubs, make sure none of them are getting hot or anything. All of them are nice and cool, which is a good thing. That means the grease is working like it should. And uh, my hitch is obviously just a little bit high here for this particular situation, but uh, it's working out pretty well. got my tow lights on here which the truck isn't running at the moment so they're not on but uh wire just runs all the way up through just regular little trailer lights get vice grips and seat clamps to hold them on and uh it's working out pretty well it's a 1970 airstream overlander international basically gutted I'll have to show you some more in the daylight but uh, everything's tore out of it it's more or less just the shell and uh, still has the AC unit up above so far so good got about another hundred and however many miles to the house and uh, I think it's gonna go pretty smooth it actually pulls extremely nice with my truck, you can't even tell the weight's hardly on it. But uh, I'm gonna get back on the road here and uh, see how this goes. Well, can't really see a whole lot. It's pretty dark. But uh, we've been cruising at a steady 70 some miles an hour. And uh, we got about an hour left to this journey. It's been uneventful so far, and uh, I have good feelings about it staying that way. And uh, no, it's not 1 o'clock or uh, 120. It's about 9, 10. So uh, we're making pretty good time. And uh, I'll catch y'all when I get home. And we're home. Yes, I know it's not dark anymore. It's the next morning. But uh, I wanted to show you all this thing in the daylight. And uh, we made it here safely last night. Everything went as planned. Better than I could have hoped. No blowouts, no anything like that. But uh, dig digging around in here, once I got to pick it up, there is a spare tire. So that's a plus. As you can see, the interior has all been stripped out. There's a whole bunch of fiberglass pieces from the old interior. Uh, I don't know what we're going to use those for or if we will use them at all. The plan is to remodel this thing completely, fix it all up how we want it, and uh, do some living in it. Uh, do some traveling and we can cut back on cost of housing and all that. We won't have to get hotels and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, there's definitely going to be more videos of this coming up in the next two years or so. We're not going to get too carried away. 
and uh and excited getting right into it and this is more of the wife's project than mine but i know i'm definitely going to be doing a lot of the work we're going to have a blast doing it and i'm going to bring you along as well and uh i'm going to have to grease the wheel bearings trailer wiring interior wiring insulation all that stuff and i'm going to take you right along and show you step by step of how we're gonna do all that and uh, maybe give you some good ideas but as far as the shell goes being as it's 1970 it's in really good condition and it's got a lot of promise to it we got a power inverter or Converter charger technically you plug that into 110 and it puts out 12 volt power Little pump. There's quite a few different wires. They even got a bunch of new LED lights That will hopefully fit I don't know if these are supposed to fit or not, but we're probably gonna make them fit you Got the back window sitting right there a bunch of the trim pieces for the window but overall, for the age and everything, it's in pretty good condition. It's not really rusty at all underneath. Oh, that stair's gonna need fixed. But uh, it's gonna be a big project, a lot of work. Gotta get some propane tanks. And the kicker is I had two Airstream propane tanks that were the perfect height for these. And, uh, <laughs> When we were living up north before we moved, I sold them for next to nothing. And now I wish I would have kept them, but that stuff happens. But yeah, it's in pretty good shape. Not a lot of dents or anything on the exterior. I'm hoping to get the AC unit working on it. That way we don't have to put money towards a new one of those, but we'll see. You can see all the lights have been taken out or busted out or whatnot. It's going to be a big project, but I'm excited for it and excited to see how it turns out, what we can accomplish with this. And uh, then we're going to do some traveling and uh, it's going to be fun. Well, I appreciate you watching. And as always, if you appreciate what I'm doing here, if you think I'm cool and you think my content is cool, hit that subscribe button on YouTube, hit that follow button on Facebook, hit the bell notification, turn your notifications on, and you'll be seeing more of this and plenty of other stuff on the channel. Until next time.